Mike here. This is an electric compost pile. Uh, it's an aerated static pile. It's a technology developed back in the 1970s by the U.S. Department of Agriculture. Uh, who knows who else, but uh, uh, that's the story I know of. Rather than turning a pile manually, that's actually mostly grass, but, you know, manually being a tractor in this case, um, to get oxygen in the pile, we blow air into it. Now, I did another video on constructing that pile there. That was my third pile, the one behind it, with the tarp under it over it um it's wrapped in a fencing material and it's about three weeks old and inside that pile you get probably beyond a foot and uh, it's over 150 degrees in fact it's been close to 160 degrees and plus um for about two and a half of those weeks in the very core. Uh, the rest of the pile is in the 150s. Um, that core temperature is probably a little high. I probably should go a little bit uh, longer on the, uh, give it a little more air, um, try to cool it down a little bit. But uh, I'm still really happy with that. The fact that it's been two and a half weeks um, that it's been, been that hot, that's amazing. And the fact that it doesn't really show much sign of, of dropping anytime soon. Um, it, it did start to decline into the one high 150s, but this pile, this pile was just constructed today and until it's finished, it's going to be probably equal mass or greater than the pile I was just speaking of. Um, it is insulated, um, loosely. So we're built out of these IBC totes, uh, it's eight ply cardboard. Um, these held 275 gallons of canola oil. I presume there was a plastic liner in it at some point. Um, sat on a pallet. See that I modified these. Um, this, that panel, that panel, that panel were one box. So I still have the corners uh, hold held together and there's webbing in the bottom. Did that on both ends here. And then the center is two panels. Two panels over there that was one box. And then that's just kind of it's actually just sat in there. There's really nothing holding it in other than the weight of the material pushing out. I do have one screw going through here to this girt. The girt is, I think, what's going to really be my saving grace for this thing. Um, because all it is is just four two-by-fours screwed together in the corners. Um, I just have the two posts on either side. That was really just to hold everything up while I was putting it together and keep it in position. And I think the weight of everything is just going to push out on that girt. And hopefully that'll just... Uh, keep everything in place. The other thing that's going to kind of keep it together is the six mil plastic. This six mil plastic is 20 feet wide. It's 26 feet long. Um, it is lining the bottom of this thing like a bathtub. Uh, and uh, right now it contains a lot of happy horse shit and grass. Um, I did that um, because I want to protect the cardboard. I'd like the cardboard to last, because once this thing is done, I'm going to cover the whole thing in a tarp, and I'm hoping that the cardboard uh, holds up for a while. I can get a couple of a couple of uh, runs out of this thing. Uh, the other reason I did it was to kind of retain moisture, so that I didn't lose a lot of moisture, and uh, I'm, I'm hoping that I can already put my arm down in here, and it's it's nice and toasty. So um, I'm I'm pretty pretty excited about this. What's powering this? process here is this uh, 120 volt fan comes out of a natural gas furnace. Um, it's actually designed for condensate, so I could run it in reverse and pull air through this system, but right now I'm just pushing it through. Um, push this into the fern cove, two inch, two to four, down to there's a 90 buried down here, um, and then 100 feet of corrugated uh, drainage tile, a little perforations in it. Um, the end of it is uh, capped off uh, with a plastic container um, and then taped and everything. Um, it's all coiled in the bottom, kind of a big racetrack. Um, it goes to the center first and then coils outward. Um, I kind of wish I would have got a little more density of the piping in the center, but uh, I think I'm going to get a nice distribution of air. And all that air is just going to hopefully just come right up, up through going to cook everything all the way to the very edge rather than that pile over there where that outer layer is just not going to sterilize very well. So I'm hoping I can get those high temperatures all the way to the edge and what I end up with and what I'm done after six to eight weeks is a completely finished product and everything goes well. I'll be able to tear all this apart um, 
somewhat carefully and maybe tie a rope to each corner of that plastic and then pull it over maybe with the tractor and try to dump the whole thing over here rather than try to get it off the uh, pallet and the plastic and the tubing and just wreck and ruin everything. Because um, I'd like to be able to reuse it. I'd like to be able to do it again. Um, and maybe get a relatively fast turnover rate too, you know, who knows. But uh, hopefully the plastic is heavy enough it holds up and I'm able to get the drainage tile out without damaging it. So uh, I'm gonna go another 18 inches high on this. I'm gonna take two more totes and I'm gonna rip them down the middle and then build essentially this same thing on top. Um, gonna have to do something to fasten it in such a way to keep it from shifting off. But um, I'll pretty much just build off that girt, but to build another girt and maybe I'll just uh, tie the two girts together and maybe that'll be strong enough to keep it in place. I, I don't know. Um, I, I think a lot of it is just the plastic itself kind of um, helps to distribute that weight around and stuff. So I think I want to build uh, insulated panels for the top of it. Um, I'm going to go 18 inches higher, so that's going to be four and a half feet. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to pile a little higher because uh, I'm expecting settling. Uh, just like that one has settled considerably. Settled and or lost mass due to carbon dioxide loss and, you know, converting carbon to carbon dioxide and whatever metabolic processes are going on there. But it, it's, it's settled and or lost mass. So I know I'm going to reduce the height on this. Eventually it'll be flush and I'm going to build some insulated panel lids that'll tie together a little bit and uh, that'll help me manage airflow, air loss, moisture loss, things like that because uh, if anything this is going to overheat so I'm going to have to really give it the air a lot and I'm probably going to have to vent some of that heat off but I like to do that in a controlled manner and possibly get some heat out of this thing you know uh, if I could do this in such a way that I can reliably um, process horse manure, which is what I'm, um, my feedstock is horse manure and grass, uh, two things of which I have plenty of around here, um, I could end up with a, a, a large amount of well composted, uh, sterilized uh, compost, uh, you know, every six to eight weeks. And then potentially I could have a source of, uh, source of heat for something. I don't know. That's not my main interest. So, uh, it's getting dark. It's getting hard to see here. So, um, I will turn on this blower here and let you hear the ridiculous amount of air flowing through it. Right, here's the suction. And there's a ton of air going into this, this pot. It's a huge difference. Huge difference over what ends up going into this pile here. And that's just because uh, I didn't put nearly enough or large enough holes in the PVC pipe I put under it, but it doesn't work. It's still still hot and it's gonna work out real well. So um, I'm gonna finish this tomorrow and maybe I'll do a, a uh, finished video, um, tarp it and everything, and probably eventually get it on its own blower. It's not gonna be up in the air like that. It's gonna be down, down here probably, but... Um, I can't see, I was going to tie it together with this other pile and uh, the differences in static pressure are just going to be too great that uh, I think that one's going to starve. So, um, thanks for watching. That's the aerated static pile.